I really love making music, but I also really love playing video games on my Xbox home video game console <laughs> with the giant controller. But I don't have time for both. If only there was some kind of software created in collaboration between a music television network and... The <laughs> But master, <laughs> masters of Code, MTV Music Generator 3 for the original Xbox. So I've already played the previous versions of this game here and unsurprisingly, things just keep getting worse. So this one really had a big focus on getting big name artists such as Mike Coughlin. You can pretty much just go through and remix one of these artists existing songs, but I do not feel like getting copyright claims. So let's move over to the studio. Here we've got a couple of different artist templates. Let's go with my favorite, Mike Coughlin. This would be looking like FL Studio at home. Throw some loops in there, hit play. Nice, we got some claps. That really took no effort at all. <laughs> wow, we got some bass lines. Oh, they're all just terrible. Let's go with Pumper G. Throw some Pumper G's in there, hit play. And we're away. Wow, is that Mike Coughlin? No, <laughs> it's just me. Plus gas bag. That's my favorite riff. Glista G, throw him in. <laughs> that is horrific. Let's loop it to make it even longer. Copy, paste, paste again. How do I change the notes of this? It's just one long note going on for 16 bars. <laughs> oh, we can make our own beats. It's unique. Experimental. Throw them clothes hi-hats in there like that. Shuffle on. Oh, we got 3D knobs. Yeah. <laughs> that is trash. Wow. Let's change the kick drum sample. Oh. That's not too bad. How do I change the velocity? White button. Wow, now we got dynamics. That is sounding really good. Stop, start crashing there. Let's go, my Coglin type beat melody. Oh, we got a piano roll. Let's go. Oh, yuck. Oh, hideous. <laughs> oh, gross. Wow, that's horrible. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, quite like tramp. Is that all of the instruments? We just got some lows, some mids, and some highs, and there's like five in each one. How's this third version that came out like five years after the original so much worse? Hey, but at least it's got Snoop Dogg <laughs> and Mike Coughlin. <laughs> Throw my drum beat in there like that. Bass line in over here. It's not actually too bad. For something with such a ridiculous kick drum, <laughs> that is listenable. Now, how do I change up the bass line to have a different note. Do we have to go back into the melody and make a new one? Ah, this is so painfully slow. Look how small the piano roll is. Yeah, there we go. We got our second note in our bass line. Let's go throw it into the studio. Okay, there we go. That actually kind of works. <laughs> the drums are a bit extreme. That's a banger right there. Oh, oh, God, get out of here. Drum beat. Two, throw them in there. That's a banger. Wow, that is so good. I do actually think that my little loops that I just made are better than these default ones. <laughs> these are trash. Ah, what have I done? Ooh, fix. Oh, that's terrible. Get it out of here. That's horrible. Now I'm just going to assume this filter sounds garbage too. Actually, not too bad. Is this automation? <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere. All of the effects, let's go. Interesting. <laughs> you know what? As much as I like Mike Coglin, kind of just want to try another one of these templates. Let's go for Snoop Dogg. Guess we're rolling in with them baby blue chuck. 
why is there only like two different loops per template? I know that you can actually pull your own samples in from different soundtracks or even sample CDs, I guess, but like, who has CDs? I just feel like they should have just given you a little bit more to work with. There's just nothing here. But I am interested to see, do we get different samples to work with? It sounds like we do. This is so weak. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, what have I done? The snare, I like it. Got a bit of shuffle going on. That's a trash hi-hat. That was kind of cool. Oh. Nice little bounce to it. Oh. Yeah, that little percussion sample at the end is actually really cool. Oh, we got the dog pad. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of ugly. I think we need some effects on there. Maybe a bit of reverb. Maybe a little bit of filter as well. Oh, that's actually cool. Nice, except that. And now let's move on to a bass line. Oh, the whole trio's here. We got doggy one, two, and three for the bass. How about doggy two? <laughs> oh, bow. Bow, bow. Let's go bass line in here. Uh, sounds like the pitch of the samples is off. I really wish I could listen to the other instruments while putting them into the piano roll. <laughs> Still sounds off. You know what might fix it? Turn up the BPM. Wow, oh, so you go from 87 beats per minute to 107. Wow, that's gonna make the song completely different. Why can they not even give you more of a BPM range? Wait, what? It just pitches up all the samples. Why is this so bad? <laughs> Gross. So that is going to be one of the worst beats I've ever made. Maybe if we throw some Snoop rap on top, that might fix it. It's the S N double O P. It's the S N double O P. It's pitched him up because I changed the BPM. <laughs> let's move on to another one. That one's got some terrible samples. Outcast. Let's give that a try. Boom, 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 boom. That is already better than the Snoop Dogg one. Actually sounds cool. Now what if we slow down the tempo? Looking at them, they're there on the dance floor. Now they got me at the middle, feeling like a man. Looking at them. That is actually so much better. Now they got me at the middle. That sounds really good. We might just need to switch up the drum beat a little bit, go for a halftime one. Oh, the name of that snare really sums up how it sounds. Wow. Nice. That is better. That is so smooth. Oh. Nothing like a cheesy little melody to go on top of these fat drum beats. Hmm. Bass line. Kaboom, kaboom. How's this sound? Nah. Surprisingly, that is not actually the worst thing I've ever heard. I think we just need to throw some effects onto this main melody line. Yeah! Sounds way more dynamic now. Not a bad little loop. I think it's just missing some really cool vocal chops though. Wow! Let's go DJ Marky, what you got? DJ Marky got the fire! Oh! That's some loud shakers. <laughs> I need to get that out of there. One bass line. Bruh. How much did they pay DJ Marky for this? He did the bare minimum. He's only got one bass line sitting in there. It's not even good either. Oh, wait, I take that back. We got two organs over here. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> this is terrible loops. What? Oh, look at that fruity love filter over here. It doesn't even have good samples to use on the melody. Ah!
Got that sonic drowning type beat. Hey. That's good. And by good, I mean complete trash, but still kind of good. I like it. One final thing to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow. That song is just so good. So good that I just... I never want to play this game again. I'm done. I hate this game. <laughs>